Hello and welcome to this session on Jenkins. Today we are going to see how we can integrate Jenkins with a source code management system and we will use Git as an example for that. So we'll be creating a simple Java program and we'll run it through command line. Then we will create a Jenkins job and run the same Java program through the Jenkins job. We will add our project to Git and then we will uh, configure our Jenkins job so that it can trigger the execution on and commit to git so let us begin and let us see a uh, step one will be create a java program and i am using a, a java program as an example to show you integration with git you can use your own project in whatever language it is so we we will create a simple java program and uh, you can create it in eclipse or any editor i am directly using a uh, text pad so if you're on windows you can do it on a notepad or you can directly do on eclipse so uh, let us begin and let me just save this as a java file first i will name it as hello and i will save it as a java file so that you can see java code here uh, let me also increase the font okay so we'll create a class hello and we will create the main method and we will have our program written inside so let me just create a for loop So what I'm doing is I'm just creating a for loop for iteration 1 to 10 and inside the for loop I will just uh, print something so let me just say system dot out dot print ln and let us just print hello world and give the iteration here so this is a simple uh, java program that i have created which is printing hello world uh, 10 times okay so i i'll just save it and i have saved it on desktop so uh, let us do one thing uh, let me just create a new you can see the file is saved here i will create a new folder by the name uh, java project one and i will move this file here okay so this file is here in this project now i have to run it through command line so i will go to my terminal and if you are on windows you will go to your command prompt and rest of the things will be the same so i am going to terminal let me hide the sidebar so that you can see what is happening okay So what I have to do is I have to go to the location of this particular file. So this file is located inside desktop and this folder. So I will go here and now I will compile it. So I will say Java C and the file name. So I have compiled it and you can see hello.class is created. So that means the compilation is successful and to run it I will say Java and the name of the class without the extension and yes it is running so you can see it is printing hello world 10 times so in case you are you have created your project or program on eclipse let us say i have this hello one.java on uh, eclipse in that case also you can run it through command line what you have to do is you have to go to the location uh, to the directory which is just above your package if you have created a custom package then you will go to a directory just above the package so in my case this is src so i hope you can uh, see this i will go to this particular directory on my command line and it is here so i will go here and then i will do uh, do the same commands i will say java c
I will give the package name and the file name and then I will say Java and this time I will give the package name and file name without the extension .java and it is printing hello world for me whatever was there in my program okay so there you can do it anyways so this was just an example to create a program okay so we have uh, created our program now we can create a Jenkins job right so we'll say create Jenkins job to run the program okay so for that let us start our Jenkins so first we have to go to the Jenkins directory so Jenkins is located in my case at desktop tools Jenkins and we will say java hyphen jar Jenkins dot war and it will start Jenkins on the default port 8080 but if I want to use some other port I will say minus minus HTTP port and I want to start it on let's say port 9191 so what it will do is it will start my Jenkins on port 9191 let us go to our browser and go to localhost 9191 so this should get my Jenkins up and running in some time yes so it is getting ready so once uh, the entire configurations are loaded we will have our Jenkins up and running and then we will create a simple job to execute this program it might take a couple of seconds sometimes yes it is fully up and running now so this should show my Jenkins window now okay so now I will go to a uh, new item and I will create a program so I will say hello world freestyle project and I will say ok so it has created the job and now uh, although we will use git but for now we just to test we will go to add build step and here if you are on Windows you will say execute Windows batch command and if you are on Mac or Linux you will say execute shell so in my case I am going to select execute shell and here I will give the commands so uh, the commands that I have to give is I have to go to my the location of my Java file first so this is the command to go to the location and then I will say Java C hello dot Java and then I will say Java hello so this should run my program let us test it I will apply and save and I will say build now let us look at the console output and yes it is it was able to run our program okay so we have successfully configured the job now we have to add our project to git so I'll say add project to git and github because we will create a repository on github so let us see what we do now so first let us go to the location of our folder here so this is the location of the folder that I want to add to git okay so you have to go inside the location and in your case it can be your project so if you are new to git and github I will recommend that you watch the session on git and github you can watch the beginners session and you can watch how to install and get started if you are on windows you can watch introduction and session 3 which is for windows if you are on mac you can watch session 1 introduction and session 2 which is for mac so this is very simple it will hardly take you 5 to 10 minutes to get started with git uh, because i have already created separate sessions on git uh, for this session i will just uh, go with the com commands of git directly so to initialize the repository i will say git in it and then I will say git status 
so it is showing me there are two files which are not yet added so I will add with git add dot and now if I say git status yes these are added I have to commit it so I will say git commit minus m message edit hello world program and yes and now I have committed but I have to push it to a remote repository so for that I have to go to my github account I'll go to github and see don't get intimidated with whatever I'm use, uh, doing now all this is explained in a very basic manner in the github tutorial so please watch them if in case you are new to git and github uh, let me just start a project here and let me give the name hello world and create the repository and now I will copy this location of the repository and I will say git remote add origin and the location of the repository and now I will say git push minus u origin master so in the master branch all the projects should be pushed so it is done 100% if I go and refresh my repository on github I can see this has been committed and added to github okay now I have to configure my Jenkins job so step 4 will be the very first thing you will see is whether you have the github plugin so you can go to Jenkins manage Jenkins and here you have to go to your plugins manager you have to go to manage plugins and here you have to look for git plugin okay so this is the git plugin now in my case it is already installed so I am finding it in the installed section in your case you will go to available and find git plugin and install download and install it in case it is not already available once you have this available you will go to your project that we just created so this is the project go to configure and here now we will you will have this git option okay you will only have this option once you have the plugin available so I will click here and it is asking me the name of the repository the URL so this is the URL that we just created the repository okay so this URL I am giving here on my Jenkins job and now in the build triggers I will select poll SCM okay and here I have to give the cron expression that how often and at what intervals do you want this particular job to check the source code repository to check for the changes so uh, you can give any expression here based on your requirement of the project for now I am giving 5 stars which means it will check the repository every minute for any changes this is not recommended but just for demo purpose I am giving this so this job will check the git repository every minute and if there is any change it will trigger this job okay so I will say apply and save okay as of now you can see there is just one iteration and execution of this job which we have done manually the next iteration will happen whenever we uh, make any changes and push to our github so let us do some changes uh, let me go to my or let me just create a new file here I will say touch in case you are on windows you will say dir this symbol and whatever file you want to create okay it will uh, it has created in mac as well so I have created this file here you can also create by touch and the file name so if I want to create index.html I will say this and it has created the file here okay so now I have made some changes if I do git status it is showing me this is not added I will say git add and now if I do git status it is added I will do a git commit and 
give some message new files added and now I will say git push minus u origin master and it should push the changes to github and yes and now you can see this job it will it has started triggering the build it has started the job on itself and if you see the console output you can see this is started by an SCM change okay and everything is okay it has done our program and it has it is successful right so uh, this is how you can create your project and add it to git and then uh, create a Jenkins job to trigger whenever you make any changes in your project hope you like it thank you